And welcome back. Rush Limbaugh, talent on lawn from God. And to the phones, we uh, we go to Ben Woodbridge, Virginia. Welcome to the EIB Network. Hello. Hello, Rush. Mega Dittas from uh, an Iraq War veteran. You've kind of been a, a companion with me along my journeys for 15 years now, so it's a real pleasure to get a chance. Thank to you. Talk. Thank you, sir, very much. I appreciate that. Sir, I would like to say that, you know, when you talk about these residents not wanting to... Uh, Cut off their cut property, their taxes. property taxes. I couldn't help it. I couldn't myself. help it. Didn't Obama, Didn't Obama publicly, publicly come out? Publicly come say he out wanted to kill, wanted to kill the coal the industry. Coal industry. So I can't help. So but I can't help. Maybe, 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 maybe he wants to go after, wants to the, go oil after the oil as well. As well. You know, so, you know, why not? so why not? He's already he's going, going after the. Going after I, the I understand I the point understand that you're the making. Point you're making. He's, already he's already going after the oil after industry. The oil industry. It, it's, 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 it's it's called the Keystone Pipeline. Uh, and the drilling uh, moratorium in, in the Gulf of Mexico. He's doing everything, He's doing everything he, can he can to hamper, to hamper big, oil. big oil. Now, this story is talking, talking about property taxes, taxes here. This, here. this is out of the Wall Street Journal. An energy, An energy, boom, energy has boom has flooded North Dakota's, North Dakota's coffers at a time, at a time when almost time every almost other state is struggling, struggling to make ends meet. But when its fiscally conservative residents get the chance tomorrow to vote themselves a big tax cut, they're expected to say no. At issue at is a issue referendum, is a referendum for a proposed, proposed constitutional, constitutional amendment to eliminate, to eliminate local, local property, taxes, property taxes, requiring, requiring the, newly the newly flushed state government state to make up the difference. They got plenty, of, got money plenty of money because of this boom. Of this it's an oil boom. An oil boom. And, the and the residents have a chance to get rid to get of property rid taxes. Of property taxes. Public unions, public unions, public unions and employee unions, unions are leading the charge to oppose eliminating. The property tax. The property they want tax. it maintained. Want it maintained. So basically, what well, basically, we have what we here, have... proponents, a loose group that includes people ranging from progressives to Tea Party members, say the state can afford it thanks to as much as $3 billion in expected revenue from taxes on oil and natural gas production in the current and next fiscal years. They also cite sales tax revenue jumped 86% two years ago because of an influx of new residents and business because of the boom. But the measures many opponents, including the Republican governor, Jack Dalrymple, and organizations ranging from the North Dakota Chamber of Commerce to public employee unions, fear that eliminating property taxes is too risky a bet on prosperity that might not last. They point out that state government already is pumping more money into local communities uh, that's helping to reduce property taxes. And they say the proposed amendment doesn't explain clearly how it would cover the loss of what's estimated to be $810 million that counties and towns and other local entities receive annually from property taxes. Likely, voters oppose the measure by nearly three to one. So they're... They're, they're worried here that the boom won't last. And what Ben here is saying is they might have a fear, since Obama is telling the coal industry that they're toast, uh, that he might also tell these people, he might outlaw fracking, might make the way they're extracting oil illegal, shut it down. Now, the story does not allude to that. But it's an intelligent thing to suspect given Obama's track record uh, on other conventional sources of, uh, of energy. But the oil industry is on Obama's kill list, just like coal is. The kill list is not just terrorists. No, 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 no. The kill list is not just terrorists, big oil and a number of other private sector businesses and industries. Now, we know that Obama hates fracking. Obama... This is the thing. Anything that's new, you know, well, what do you mean? Rush use for electric cars. That's not new. Do you realize how old the electric car uh, idea is? Would you like to take a guess? How old? When was the first electric car idea proposed? You're going to be stunned when I tell you. 109 years ago. 109 years ago. That's how old the notion of an electric car is. 109 years. 
You could say that people have been working on this for 109 years and we've not gotten past the golf cart. In practicality, everything Obama's doing is looking backwards. He's against fracking, a new way to get more oil. We've got more oil deposits in this country than the Saudis have. Now, we can't get it the conventional way. It takes new techniques, which are now viable, which are now profitable. Big insurance is on the kill list. Big pharmaceutical, big sugar. And not just Obama's, but practically every liberal Democrat has these industries on the kill list. So in a way, you can understand the people of North Dakota. They know property tax funds certain things, and afraid that Obama might just come shut down the source of all the revenue because he doesn't like private sector revenue this way. He doesn't.